In Exodus 16, the Israelites have just escaped slavery in Egypt and the tyranny of Pharaoh. And now they have to make their way across the desert in order to get to the promised land. But the desert is not an easy place to be. After only a few days, these Israelites start to become hungry and they start to grumble. And God responds. God brings down bread from heaven. This bread would satisfy his people who'd been grumbling. When this bread rained down, the Israelites didn't fully comprehend what it was, so they called it manna, which means, what is it? This bread would be a daily provision for them. This bread meant satisfaction for their hunger pains. This bread meant that there was still hope for the promised land. This bread was God's reminder to them, I am greater than Pharaoh. I am a God who always provides for my people. And yet even with this bread in their hands, an entire generation of Israelites lived and died in that desert, never seeing the Promised Land. Fast forward now, nearly 1,500 years later, and God's people are still grumbling. And they're under the tyranny of another type of Pharaoh, the Roman Empire. But far outside the cities, in a small town of Bethlehem, God brought bread down from heaven again. This bread would once again satisfy his people who'd been sinning. And once again, these people did not fully comprehend what this bread was when he called himself the bread of life, the living manna. This bread of life would not just be a daily provision. This bread was an eternal provision. This bread means that salvation is coming. It means that we don't pass away before entering the promised land. With this bread, we're given eternal life. With this bread, we're given communion with God. With this bread, we will never hunger again. With this bread, God is saying once and for all, I am a God who always and forever provides for my people. This is more than a metaphor.